Hey guys, it's Heather from Cheerfully Twisted again. Um, gonna show you Pikachu. He's really not difficult. It's actually kind of funny. The, the smaller ones seem to be more difficult, and the bigger ones that cost more money tend to be not as hard, which is kind of backwards, but you know. Anyways, you're gonna use two yellow uh, 260s. I do find if I'm making a bunch of these because I know that they're going to sell well, you can actually make two out of every three yellow balloons um, quite easily. And uh, it's a save on balloons, but um, if you're not making a bunch, just kind of save the extra pieces. And if someone else comes along and wants one, you're, you're kind of ready to go. Anyways, you want to blow this up maybe like halfway. Two, three, four. About four pumps is more than enough. Tie it off. Now the very first part is the tail, and the tail is like a zigzag. So you want to take it, bend it over, bend it over again. You don't want this to be huge, it's just going to be his tail, so don't do it like wild and crazy size. Squeeze the air out of it. Pump the air back into it. Squeeze the air out of it again. Pump the air back into it. And you should be left with this one shape of the tail. So now you're going to take both here, twist before sort of, um, I don't know, maybe. A, a fairly small three finger. So, three fingers again. They're, they're all the same. Very, very much like doing the um, ladybug. My dogs just came in the house, so if they interrupt. So now you're going to take these four, twist them together at the bottom. Take this here. About a nice four finger, five finger maybe thing. Go ahead and uh, cut the lip, the top off that. Okay. You need this long piece, so don't cut a lot off of it. Tie it up. Done. Okay, and what you have now is you've got the tail, his belly, and kind of his arms and legs. This is going to get tied up into the top here. So you're kind of going to have this. That's on one side, this is on the other. And then you've got this nice long thing here. Now take this, just put maybe two pumps of air, not very much at all. One, like one and a half. And just do two, like, say, five finger balls. Cut this off. You're going to be kneading that, so keep it in good condition. Don't blow it up way too far and um, then be stuck trying to use a balloon that's already been blown up because that doesn't work well ever. Cut off your extra, and you've got this. Okay, put that aside. Now you probably only need, say, about this much. You're going to blow that up. That's even way too much here. But you do need to make sure it goes right up to the top, okay? And maybe. So this is eight fingers roughly, okay? So now you're left with three pieces. The original piece, the second piece, and the third piece. What you're going to do now, take the second piece and put this through it. Okay. Now you're going to take this one in half. Okay. Take your piece here. Pull in that a couple times. 
and then go back down and tie it into here. I just want it all held together really well. Okay. And then you take that tail, twist it up in the air. Okay. This turn his head to be even here, kind of like a T, I suppose. And then those little darlings are going to be his ears. So, I don't know if I have all my colors. Hang on one minute. My box of extras for the weekend. I know they're all in here. Okay, so let me just do this quickly and then I'll show you. It's two round circles. The nose is upwards and the mouth is down, okay? Like this. So a little that way for the nose and then under for the mouth. And I have a terrible habit of smudging this, so try to be more careful than I am. Then two red round cheeks. This really is what sets them off. As you can see now, that's so much more of a Pikachu face. I like to take this size, just go around the very top, just to give yourself a line to follow. Don't go down too far because the more down you go, the more black you have to fill in. Okay, and then I will always have these big gigantic ones. This is what I use them for. It's just easier to fill in the top with a nice big, great big, uh, marker. See, this color is going so much faster than trying to do all separate. And you do that to both. I always try to remind the kids, don't touch the tops for a little while because they're, they do stay wet because it's a, you know, a little bit bigger. So what you're going to have, you got his two right there. I should have done a little bit more, I suppose. Anyways, if you want more, you always feel free to go around again. Nothing saying you can't do it twice. So now make sure you don't touch the top of him because these do stay wet for a while. And when you're done, now something I do like to try to do, um, tell the, show the kids how to do this because they think if the tail falls out, they think he's broken. Okay, just show them. Go see. It goes like this. Even before I put it in the first time, I show them how I put it in. So you see how it is right there. You just take it and just shove it right back in, and then that just stops a lot of kids from having to come back again and have it fixed. Some kids like little, just like a little um, lightning bolt, I suppose, on here. If they want it, feel free to add that to your design. It's no really big deal, but some kids really want it. Some kids don't. Anyways, sorry about the light there. I might do this video again tomorrow when I don't have to use the overhead light. Have a good night. Bye.